Hey everyone, it's follow-up time from the stream. If you caught the stream and you made it through the stream, good on you. Wow, it was full on. If you missed the stream, well, that's okay. I have an absolute mess in front of me. I have been playing with all sorts of stuff today. I have been experimenting with gears instead of pulleys. I took this off. So I'm pretty sure I was getting some form of slippage. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was. I've mangled stacks of little pulleys. Whoops, get out. I've yeah done all sorts of crazy stuff. Little blue tack with pointers on it so I could see which direction it's going. I've been counting steps. I've been doing all sorts of crazy things. I want to show you all something. So I'm going to just reset this. So it'll home. Here it is. It's homed. Now I've got a bin at number one number 10, number 20, and number 30, okay, as reference points. And uh, what I'll do is just I'll put my screwdriver just down there, can you see that there? Just to show where the zero point is. This will be the, where the opening of the top will be. So I want to show you some stuff. So if I hit 20, I get number 20, and if I hit 30, if I hit 10, if I hit 1, if I go to 39, which is that point just there, 1 over the home, and I go to 20, how good is this looking? So firstly, you might hear I've got acceleration and deceleration working that wind up and wind down and this is fairly accurate it's the most accurate it's been so far how did I do it? well a lot of frustration let me tell you but what I've effectively done is let me see if I can get this off it's press fit but it's super tight Oh, not too bad. Okay, I am using gears now, which makes things a little bit noisy. I know people mentioned that I should use gears from the start. Well, I wasn't sure I could print reliable gears, and to be honest, they, they're not fantastic. <laughs> um, my PLA gears I printed looked a little bit nicer than the PET-G, but I was finding that the small gears, this, well, this one, you can't really tell now, I had to get the hot air onto it to get it off. But this was starting to wear already with some rubbing, so I thought I'd better redo this with PETG. It's a, a much stronger, sturdier filament, but it's also, yeah, I don't know, it's it wasn't a great print maybe or something, but, um, you know, there's no slippage, right? I'm trying to, I can't rotate and slip it. And yeah, I think overall it's noisier, um, noisier for sure. Let me just, uh, you can hear the rattling, so not just the but there's just a, a sound. To do with the rotating of the cogs, and it could be the cogs are touching a little bit. I might have to reprint this one to make it a little bit thinner. I'm not sure. It could be, if I lift this up a fraction maybe, if I can. I'm going to have to oh, give it a bit more room underneath if I can. Let's try that. Yeah, it's a bit noisy. I can't say I'm a fan of the noise, but I don't really know what else to do. This is a little bit warm as well. I'm not sure why this is so warm. Maybe I played around with the current again and got it too high. I'm not sure. So, yeah, that's what I did. I, I've gone back to a cog. But now, to be brutally honest, like I feel like maybe I should just get rid of this cog, the gear in the middle, and just put the stepper right in the middle. I know it's been suggested by a few people already. So the reason I did the gearing in the first place was my assumption always was that if I geared it up, 
and did a lot more rotating on the stepper to get to the right position up top, I'd have a lot more accuracy because I'd need more steps to turn this, which means I'd have more precision. But clearly, whatever I'm doing here with the gearing or the belt is just compounding the accuracy issue. And I feel like maybe I should just get rid of it and have less rotation of here and get the same results. The accuracy doesn't seem to be in how many times it's stepping. The accuracy seems to be in where it's finishing up, how accurately it's landing on its last step. Now I've 100% confirmed that there's exactly 200 steps on this. I wrote some code that went through and told it to rotate 360 degrees one step every half a second and I stuck a whole bunch of blue tack and pointers and stuff on it to measure it and I took a photo of where it started and a photo where it ended and it's exactly 200 steps and I did it three four times so it's definitely 200 steps on here I've tried it with half steps what it's doing now is still 16th and a half step seems to be pretty accurate but much louder you don't get that whining up and down you get up and down which is pretty bad I think on top of all of this is the fact that there's just rattling sounds with here and I assume once there are components in here they'll make more noise so yeah can't really hear that very well but you can imagine that that's adding extra rattling sound as it's going around so yeah I, I personally could live with the rattle and I might just leave this but part of me wants to see what it feels like just having the motor in the middle now to get all this to work I literally took a chisel to the base and hacked the base to get the motor closer and the motor wasn't designed to be this close so this top section here is actually sitting just on the top of this motor there's rubbing going on so I need to play with some tolerances I need to get this a little bit higher, like half a mil or a mil higher and I can do that by lifting the, the bottom the bottom gear. Building gears was fun in Fusion 360 not my most favorite thing I've done so far. So that's where we're at. This could be usable without putting another sensor in to do rotation, counting, indexing, whatever we're going to call it. That's why I left the stream that I was going to add that but this seems like it's a well, didn't like me pushing that down, did it? No. Did I push it too far? I wanted to show everyone that I didn't just walk away and throw my hands in the air and abandon it. I felt like it during the stream, but it's made some progress. Is it going to work? Who knows? Will I find it useful? Who knows? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. If you haven't subbed, please sub and click the alarm bell to be notified when I've got new videos coming out. If you're already a sub, you're awesome. Thank you so much. To my patrons, you're um, paying for some of this, so thank you. Your generosity is awesome. And I will catch you all on my next video, where hopefully I'll get to talk about my reflow oven. Okay, catch you later. Bye.